was Thanksgiving 2012, and we were in Washington, D.C. with my sister-in-law and her family. We were on uh, I-95 in Pennsylvania. There was a car in the opposite direction. Went over into the midsection, hit something, a cement block or something. Which caused it to flip up. And to our side. And so it landed right on top of our car. Pretty much right on top of my dad. I had a traumatic brain injury and then my dad passed away. He lost his life because of this. Johan didn't speak right after the accident. It took him four months until he said anything. And then one day I come and he sits in the wheelchair in the hallway and he says to me, why is my voice so strange? And I'm thinking, wow, <laughs> what happened? And then he was able to speak. Obviously he still needed therapy. So we were looking into where can he go that is not too far from home for outpatient therapy. Since then, Bancroft has become part of our life. We really try to meet each individual where they're at. Sometimes they're uh, seven, eight months post-injury. Other times it's been 10, 20, maybe even 30 years. The team approach is really important because when you have an entire treatment team treating an individual, um, you can really see them flourish more than just having one treatment in isolation. Jan's goal was to return to high school and finish his senior year and graduate. When he came to us, he was walking with a rolling walker and um, we needed to work to improve his mobility, his, his uh, balance, his strength, uh, in order to be safe negotiating the hallways in, in the school and then eventually um, graduate and actually be able to walk up the steps in his gown with um, a single point cane. My parents came from Sweden and we had other relatives that were here to, to see the graduation. And it was a beautiful day and we were outside on the football field. And I don't know, I wasn't expecting anything, but when they called Johan Christopher McHugh and he walks up on stage, the whole class are standing up applauding. I was crying. We were all crying. <laughs> it was beautiful. It was really beautiful. Bancroft have really helped me figure out what is the next step for him. It's amazing and humbling to see the progress that he's made. Seeing how he gets his own Uber rides and uh, doing his own thing and, and skiing and swimming and um, going to college, it's just, uh, it's extremely rewarding as a physical therapist for Bancroft to be a part of that. I think he's positioned for success partly because he is so positive and he believes that he can do things and partly because we have the support of an amazing team of therapists, the neuropsychologists and physicians. The accident changed my life, but I have a future now.